Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you what a scalable vector graphic is and how to create one quickly and easily using an existing image as a template. First off, I want to demonstrate the difference between a scalable vector graphics or SVGs for short and other picture files. Let's do that by looking what happens when I scale my logo here. This logo is a PNG file which is made up of colored pixels. And as I zoom in, you can see it becomes increasingly blurry and pixelated. An SVG file like this one, however, is made up of a mathematical map linking the relative position of the points on the page as vectors. Effectively, it's a set of instructions for reproducing the same shapes at different sizes. This means that an SVG can be scaled infinitely without losing the definition. Today, I'll be demonstrating creating a scalable vector graphic in vector.com. This is a free online SVG creation tool. Creating vector graphics can be a bit fiddly, even if you're used to graphic and picture editing software. It's much harder to erase and refine elements and less intuitive to draw on. The tools here are limited to simple shapes, a point-to-point -point pen tool, a freehand pencil tool and text. As I draw with these tools, you'll see the data points that the SVG is recording in order to build its map. Personally, I prefer to sketch out my graphics, either the old fashioned way on paper or using my favorite tablet app also called paper. Today, I'm going to import a sketch for the screencast page of my website to show you how easy it is to adapt that for use as an SVG. To do that, just grab the file and drag it straight onto the vector.com canvas. You can see I've stuck to a fairly simple design. In general, vector graphics work best for simple graphics like line drawings, icons, and logos. The main tool I'm using to trace my JPEG is the pen tool here. It allows you to trace your work point by point, recording the relative positions of the points to create a map or a set of vectors of the shape. For curvier regions, you'll want to get right in using the zoom and create a lot of points for a smooth curve. Once I'm happy that I've traced over all the areas that I need, I'm ready to remove my template file and I can start to clean up my image. Here, I can define the color of the line and fill. I can adjust the weight of the line to get different effects. And I can move elements to the back or front and adjust the transparency. Once I'm happy with my image, I'm ready to download and save my scalable vector graphic. And here's my finished image embedded on my website. If you've watched along this far, I hope you've learned something that you'll find useful for creating your own vector graphics. If you create something you're proud of or you have any questions, you can comment here on YouTube or head over to my website and drop me a message. I'd love to see what you guys are creating. I've been Rachel Dudley. Thanks for watching.